May is Stroke Awareness Month. And this morning we are showcasing those survivors and the hard work required to recover. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Bailey Bischoff has the story. Oh my goodness. Relearning how to walk, oh, to shoot. pick things up and put them back down, to perform basic tasks you and I may take for granted. You got it, you got it. You compare it to a newborn child as they develop. A stroke can rob you of your motor functions, your independence, and if you aren't one of the lucky ones, your life. So a stroke is an interruption of blood flow to the brain. There are two kinds of stroke. An ischemic stroke, which is when a blood vessel supplying blood to the brain is blocked by a blood clot and a hemorrhagic stroke when a blood vessel ruptures. Here are the symptoms. A droopy smile, a droopy face, they will have garbled speech, um, they won't be able to repeat easy phrases that would be easier for all of us, um, and they might have a lot of clumsiness to one side, uh, they'll get a gait imbalance, so they'll walk kind of crooked if they can walk at all. Others may feel numbness or tingling in their face or extremities on one side of their body. Brent go, Gage, right? a York man who suffered a stroke awesome. almost a year ago, says he felt drunk. I couldn't get my wits about me or Something couldn't talk. He was rushed to a medical center, then transferred to Bryan Medical Center West Campus, diagnosed with a stroke. Um, I said no way and uh, I still didn't believe it and I still had a hard time believing it when I got here. He says he could hardly move his left leg, his arm nearly useless. He came here to Brian's rehabilitation facilities to do occupational and physical therapy. Physical therapy helps build strength and confidence moving around. Occupational therapy helps remaster day-to-day -day skills and gets the patient back to doing what they love, which in Brent's case is bowling. Look at that. Nothing like a spare. Nothing like a spare. He's always bold, and so as an OT, as an occupational therapist, we really want to see people getting back to their daily life tasks. Brent says it hasn't been easy, and sometimes he wants to give up. The motivational part has to come from deep within, because if you don't want to work, you're not getting it. Twice! Twice! But his therapist kept pushing him. He just pushed right back and pushed through, and his stubbornness definitely helped him. <laughs> Brent has graduated from therapy at Bryan and from a therapy program in York and is now keeping in shape on his own, all while helping others. I come up here every Monday to see if there's any stroke patients and don't want to talk to them and try to push them through and help them. Sometimes I'll even do their exercises with them just because, you know, um, they don't have that extra support of somebody that's been through it. Because it is that support that pushes patients to achieve not just the team at the hospital, it's the team of their family and friends. And it takes all of those people to put uh, a recovery notion into place so that um, they will continue to recover, continue to uh, want to advance in their own health. But to be given the chance to work toward recovery, you need to react quickly. If you're experiencing symptoms of a stroke, call 911. The faster you get medical attention, the better chance you have of fighting your way back to living your life. Hey, look at that! In Lincoln, Bailey Bischoff, Channel 8, Eyewitness News.